Uri Slavkovsky was drafted first overall to the Montreal Canadiens in the 2022 NHL entry draft. As you can probably tell, my voice is still not back, but I'm going to try to make it work. The Slovakian winger is listed as 6 foot 3, 238 pounds, but I'm pretty sure on NHL it said 6 foot 5, so that is strange. The 18-year-old has reportedly made the Montreal Canadiens opening roster, but without further ado, let's simulate through his entire career and see what NHL 23 thinks is going to happen. Okay, never mind. It says 6 foot 4 here. But anyway, Anyway, in year one, he'll be playing with Jonathan Drouin and Josh Anderson, the high elite forward signed a three-year entry-level contract. Here's the defense for Montreal in year one and their goaltending situation. It is not a great season. They finished seventh in the Atlantic Division, getting 36 wins. Slavkovsky only played 42 games and put up 15 points. He played 34 games for Laval in the AHL. Colorado Avalanche are Stanley Cup champions. Eric Stahl, the top retiring player. The Canadians would get pick 6 and 11 in this draft. They get a high top 4 two-way defender here in Serenheimo. And they also get a medium top 6 forward, Andrew Cristal. He is a sniper. So the team is getting some more good foundation blocks here. Year two, Slavkovsky is now 80 overall. He'll be playing with Dvorak and Gallagher on the second line. They have Jake Allen and Caden Primo in the cage. Still not a good year. They get 30 wins, finishing last in the Atlantic Division. Slavkovsky played 75 games and put up 31 points. He was a dash two. Colorado wins another Stanley Cup. Jumbo Joe is the top retiring player. And Montreal would land the second overall pick in this year's draft where they pick up another defenseman in Miles Payer. Slavkovsky will be on line two again here in year three, playing with Dvorak and Gallagher. Allen and Primo still the goalies for year number three. The Canadians do a little bit better, getting 39 wins, finishing sixth in the Atlantic Division. 39 points in 81 games from Slavkovsky. The Carolina Hurricanes win the Stanley Cup, and Jonathan Taves is the top retiring player. Slavkovsky finally gets promoted to the first line here in year four, signs a new ticket, two years at 6.325 million. The defense looking a little bit better, and they also get UC Saros at 89 overall. Unfortunately, it's still a bad year, finishing seventh in the Atlantic Division. Slavkovsky doing a little bit better, 41 points in 80 games. The Toronto Maple Leafs win the Stanley Cup, and Malkin is at the top of this year's retirement list. The team is trying to improve. Uri will be playing with Suzuki and Laine on the first line. Payer and Hannafin will be the top defensive pair. Saros dropped down to 87 overall. The team missed out on the playoffs again, getting 89 points and fifth in the Atlantic Division. We see 46 points from Slavkovsky, but he only played 67 games. Toronto gets another Stanley Cup. This year, it is Caulfield instead of Line. Defense looks like it's getting better, and Saros is back up to an 89 overall. Slavkovsky signs a four-year deal, and the team still does not succeed, finishing seventh in the Atlantic Division, and we see 60 points in 82 games from your eye. The New York Islanders are the Stanley Cup champions, and Phil the Thrill is the top retiring player. Montreal lucked out on the lottery. They moved from 8 to 1, where they draft another defenseman here. He is medium elite potential and already 80 overall. Connor Brown will be the new right winger for that first line. Saren Haimo going to be playing with Payer on defense. Saros back to 87 overall. Phoenix Copley, the backup. The team finishes third in the Atlantic with 90 points. Slavkovsky puts up 59 in 82 games and only one point in four playoff games. The Minnesota Wild are your Stanley Cup champions, and Steven Stamkos is at the top with 1,538 points. The year seven line carries over to year eight. Connor Brown and Suzuki still going to be playing with Uri. Saros in net at 88. Hellebuck down to 78. He will be the backup. The team finishes fourth in the Atlantic, making the playoffs for the second straight year. Slavkovsky almost goes point a game this year. He only played 57 games. He would have five playoff games which is one more than the previous year and the Tampa Bay Lightning are the Stanley Cup champions as you can see Montreal got deleted by Tampa Bay in round one the eventual Stanley Cup winners and Sydney the Kidney decided to call it quits this year Slavkovsky and Suzuki will now be playing with Holmstrom on the first line the defense looking like it got better and worse at the same time Saros 87 overall will still be the starter team finishes fourth in the Atlantic Division just shy of 100 points Slavkovsky puts up 72, and he had 14 playoff appearances with 16 points. The Nashville Predators are Stanley Cup champions, and Ovi breaks the goal record. The Canadians managed to get Jordan Kairou under contract, so he will be the new first-line right winger. Saros is down to 84 overall, and a new six-year at basically 11 million for Uri. The team does not do great, seventh in the Atlantic Division. Slavkovsky had 64 points in 81 games, and the Vancouver Canucks win the Stanley Cup. Patrick Kane 
just shy of 2,000 points. Yurai will still be playing with Suzuki and Kairu on the first line, and this is the first year in a while that they don't have Saros. They have Blomqvist now at 82 overall. They finished second in the league this year with 114 points. We see 65 from Slavkovsky, who also played 12 playoff games and put up 10 points in those games. The Vancouver Canucks are Stanley Cup champions, and Montreal was deleted by Toronto in round number two. At the age of 37, Dreisaitl decides to call it quits, getting just over 50 1500 points the first line remains yet again the defense looking like they're starting to get a bunch of abilities that's for sure Blomqvist still the starting goalie they finished third in the Atlantic division making the playoffs again 44 wins on the year we see 56 points from Slavkovsky and four points in six playoff showings the Seattle Kraken win the first Stanley Cup in franchise history and Toronto would once again get the better of the Canadians in the playoffs there see you later McDusty Kravstov will be the new winger for Suzuki and Uri. the defense still looking very ability dense Blomqvist the starting goalie much Montreal will finish 6th in the Atlantic Division, getting 43 wins and 94 points. We see 72 points and a plus 26 from Uri. The Wild take home the Stanley Cup. Nate Mack retiring with 16-64. Chris Stahl will be the right winger with Suzuki and Uri on line 1. The defense... Looks like this, and in net, we still got Blumquist. A successful year for the Canadians, finishing second in the Atlantic Division. 97 points total. Uri puts up 68, playing 81 games, only missing one throughout the year. He had six playoff appearances and only one point with a dash to the Dallas Stars are your Stanley Cup champions, and Montreal would be deleted by Florida, who made it all the way to the finals. And my voice gave up on me again. But congrats, Pasta, surpassing 1,500 points. Barzell, 78 overall, is going to be the centerman for Uri this year. The defense still looking about the same. Blomquist is the starting goalie. The Canadians finished fourth in the Atlantic with 99 points. And we see 60 from Slavkovsky, 18 goals, 42 assists. He's point a game in the playoffs this year, 7 points in 6 playoff games. The LA Kings take home the Stanley Cup. And this time it would be Tampa Bay who defeats Montreal in round one. Congrats to ADB on a great career. 602 goals. Not bad at all. Slavkovsky will finally move teams. He signs with Tampa Bay. He'll be playing with Lundell and Rutter on the first line. They have 284 overall goalies. They finish second in the Atlantic Division with 101 points. Slavkovsky puts up 70 points in 78 games. 23 goals this season. He was point a game in the playoffs again, but once again, only playing six playoff games. The Buffalo Sabres are Stanley Cup champions, and Montreal would be eliminated by Buffalo in round number two, taking five games. Matthew Kachuk at 1,444 calls it a career. Slaff adding to the team repertoire. He is now a part of the Carolina Hurricanes. He's on the first line there. Their goaltender situation not looking ideal. They finished last in the Metropolitan Division, only 32 wins on the season. Slavkovsky did lead the team with 68 points the Arizona Coyotes win the Stanley Cup this year and Patrick Line a former line mate of Slavkovsky retires with 1,414. Uri clearly did not enjoy his time in Carolina he finds his way back to the Tampa Bay Lightning for year number 18. Ponikarovsky 84 overall will be the starting goalie he signs a one-year deal at 8.135 million the team finishes fourth in the league with 103 points so a very good year for them. What a season from Uri 108 points in 81 games that's a breakout season at the age of 36 he puts up 12 points in 11 playoff games the Red Wings are Stanley Cup champions and we see a few trophies here for your eye finally taking home the Art Ross the Hart and the Ted Lindsay in what seems like typical fashion your eyes team lost to the eventual Stanley Cup winners there in Detroit and Matthews retires with five points less than Sidney Crosby and he had 1,097 goals more than Ovi that is outrageous we are now one year before 20 we are very far into this thing and a one year 11 million dollar contract for Slavkovsky although the team does not do well they finished with 79 points which is seventh in the Atlantic division Slav does well putting up 81 points in 78 games the Seattle Kraken win another Stanley Cup I believe they won one already right I think so but Slav calls it quits he gets a total of 1,131 points, 364 goals in 1,457 games. Oh, my voice! In the playoffs, he never made it past round two, but he did have 60 points in 70 playoff games, and he was a dash one. As we know, he won an Art Ross, a Hart, and a Ted Lindsay all in the same season pretty late in his career, and there is an estimated total earnings as well as the teams that he played for throughout. Well, thank you guys for watching. I thought this video would be a good idea because, you know, I don't have to talk as much much but it turns out my voice is still giving up on me anyway but yeah I had fun with it hopefully you found it interesting 
And on that note, guys, I will see you soon.